What is going on Loud and Proud crowd? So we are back at it today. Yesterday's video we picked up a new vehicle, new super old vehicle. Today's video we're actually picking up an actually newer vehicle. This one is a 2000, we'll go over it later, but the point is we're picking up a new vehicle for the wife because, you know, happy wife, happy life. She likes white, she likes brown leather. We're gonna go and pick this SUV up today and she's acting like she doesn't know what I'm talking about. You're the one that convinced me to get a mom car in the first place. You're the one that brought it up, I didn't. Because like you weren't happy about it at the time and I was like, listen, what? baby, just sitting back, in a Cadillac, just cruise. I'm like, gave it away. I, we've already gave it away multiple oh. times. I mean, we were talking about it in the video when we drove it. We're like, you're gonna see this thing again. Didn't we say that? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. We are on our way to the bank to pick up the check to go pick up the new mom car, and then also may or may not be selling Big Blue tomorrow. And I know I said I was gonna keep it, but in my YouTube video when I said that. Go back and listen to it. I said, I will keep this. She, I said, as of now, I'm keeping the truck unless I get a full price offer within the next day or two. The next day, I got a full price offer on the truck for what I was asking and the guy said, hold it for me. I'll be up there Saturday. I'm like, okay, well, let's see what happens. So he may or may not buy it still, but he did sound very serious. He said he needs a truck. He's very interested in it. So we're gonna see how that goes. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. A lot of action coming at you guys today. Okay. So, on our way, we just picked up the check for the Cadillac. This should be good, this should be fun. We were at the bank, of course, I'm like trying to get my phone out and she's like, yeah, you know, just, you know, make sure you put on insurance and all this stuff before you drive and all this other crap. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like trying to put on insurance, my phone's like not working, not working, not working. I'm like, doesn't it normally happen when I have something important that they're like, yeah, we need this information right now. That's how everything goes. Doesn't work. Fine, like, I, like <laughs> then the phone just like freezes, not working, app won't work, nothing's functioning. She's like, okay, just make sure it's done by the end of the day. I'm like, okay, because this is not, this is not going to plan right now. We're on our way to the dealer. We should be there fairly soon. Should be actually a fairly quick process now that we've got most of it done before going there today. We are leaving the dealership right now in the new Cadillac. Huge shout out to these guys. Stike Main Chevrolet. Super helpful, super easy to work with, in and out. Like we were, after we dealt with our bank, which was also, shout out to you guys, super, super easy. We just walked in, got a check, we were out in five minutes. And by the time we talked to these guys, we came in, signed some papers, and we're gone literally in two minutes. So uh, super awesome, thank you guys so much. Anyway, so we are on our way now, we're on our way back home. We're gonna be getting a walkthrough with this vehicle and showing you guys around it and why we went with this and all the other reasons. Reagan is going to absolutely love this thing. Happy wife, happy life, and that is a very true statement. Why did we get it? So her truck that's falling behind, it's fine right now. Like she can get in and out. She's only five, coming on six months pregnant. She can get in and out, no problem. She's starting to get a little bit bigger. Like she's gonna be getting to the point, you know, when she's at like eight months to where it's gonna be kind of like a pain getting in and out of that truck. And she's got it down on the small stocks right now and everything else. Practicality wise, when she's getting the dog in and out of the vehicle, groceries, baby now in the picture, just getting in and out at this point in our lives in the family growing stages like when that's that's what we're doing right now this is just more practical for her now is an escalate necessary by no means is an escalate necessary i have the expensive taste and i was like you know what i'm not going to buy myself a nice truck in fact i'm probably going to end up getting rid of, rid of both of the fourth gens just because i don't need it i'll just drive one of the giveaway trucks at the time but for her it was like you know what, she can drive something nice, something that's big, it's safe, it's comfortable, and you know, if we're gonna pay for a vehicle, I'd rather pay for her nice vehicle than pay for my own nice vehicle. That's why I got rid of my Limited and my Platinum and stuff like that, and we kind of turned the tables to where she drives a really nice, fully loaded out thing. So that's what we're doing, that's my choice. That's the way I wanna do it, and I'm super excited. And the other reason why we went with a bigger vehicle and not like a car or a small midsize SUV, my phone is freaking out, it doesn't know where it's going. We wanted to be able to haul a trailer if we had to because she does does have horses and she's been talking about how she wants to buy herself a horse trailer in case she wants to go ride with you know some of our family and stuff that have horses as well which are a couple hours away so she's been back and forth on the fence about that and so I'm like okay well even if we're not hauling horses whatever we're hauling we do have a trailer and sometimes we get to haul stuff if worst case scenario since I will be driving like just like the giveaway trucks around town when we do have them it would be nice if we had something that is capable of hauling like if we go on vacation we got to haul something or out of town a few hours we got to haul kids dog luggage all this stuff it would just be nice to have something that's capable of doing that all without having to overwork it and and the Escalade just had the maximum towing capacity and everything else that we could find with 
the luxury and comfort that we wanted. That's another reason why we went with this particular vehicle. So I'm actually in the back of the Escalade. My boots are off. Mama LNP wants to uh, you sit in the driver's it. seat. Well sit my seat now. See, she thought, listen, so I told her I was gonna be driving it today. I said, I'm gonna drive it from the dealership. She's like, no, you're not. I said, yes, I am. So I drove it from the dealership to here. I took my boots off, because I don't know if they're dirty or not, but I just wanted to come back here and see how comfortable it was in the back seat of this thing. Because I remember when my mom had a Suburban growing up, she had a 2011 Suburban. And of course, at the time, I'm like 11, 12 years old, and the floor didn't drop down like this. You see where this is all the way up here? That's where the bottom of the floor used to be in the back seat of these things. Your feet used to have to be like this. And not only was it like that, but it was like that with the seat even closer than this is here versus now. Sit down, legs are fully extended down. I don't know if it does much justice, but it's pretty freaking roomy. And I am just under six foot and you've got what? How much room is above my head would you say? Two inches? Four? I don't know about four inches. She doesn't know how to measure stuff. Probably about two inches above my head. And that's in the very back seat of this thing. This thing is massive. You got this trunk that's just stupid. It's like, yeah, it's crazy. Look how big these seats are. I was telling her these seats are so massive. And of course these seats are super, super soft too. I mean, it's like sitting on a cloud. And again, you've got this hump in the middle and then it drops down where your actual feet are gonna be. So my legs, you can see they're fully down on the seat not like up in my chest, fully down and extended in the back captain seat. And then of course you got all kinds of room up there, but you know. But uh, I mean, cup holder's more than you need. You got cup holder here, storage there, storage, storage, storage. You got pockets back here, pockets back here, storage cup holders everywhere. There's <laughs> charging ports in the back seat. You've got, actually I forgot to even show you this. You've got two TVs. You've got one here, what is it gonna say? Q or something. I think it says Q. Yeah, Q, catalog Q. And then you got another TV right there as well. But of course, you guys aren't little kids in the back seat, so you're probably gonna wanna see the exterior. Let's get to that right now. And I'm still not used to like the whole not jumping down thing, because like I get out and I like jump down, because I'm thinking, oh, you got steps, you gotta jump. Well, I get out and then I realize like, oh, it's really, it's really not, uh, <laughs> it's really not that high. Here's the car, here's the Escalade. Okay, in all of its glory. Just check this thing out. It just screams like in your face, classy, cool, just crazy. Cadillac up here in the light. You got like, I don't know what, five projectors I think right there. And then you got this big lighting thing down here. Um, it kind of like carries all the way through as a daytime light. You got this emblem. Now look at the size of the emblem to the license plate thing. It's literally like the same size, it's huge. Get that pretty first gen back there. When we picked this thing up, they said, oh, you know, apparently the wheels on the back side, like there's some pitting and stuff like that. And Cadillac's actually sending you a brand new set of 22s. I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, on them, brand new set of 22s. They'll be there in like four days. We will put them on for free. Do another whole detail and whatever else you want, you know, like just the works. Super happy to have this as a family vehicle. It's just, it's so cool, so classy. And then you come around the back side here and you've got these tail lights that are freaking stupid big they're so massive absolutely crazy and you know what the craziest part about this thing is and this is not what we paid for it one year ago when this thing sold one year ago brand new hundred and twelve thousand dollars is what it sold for can you believe that of course we paid about 50 percent of that price and it's only got twenty five thousand miles on it but just think about that somebody paid a hundred thousand dollars for this freaking car and that's like, that's before taxes. Just think about that. This is actually gonna be one that hopefully, I know, I know, fingers crossed, I hope we keep this one quite a while. I know I've said that before. This is gonna, this is it. This is it for a long time for her. In terms of the old first gen here, I was trying to clean up some stuff under the hood last night. It's pressure washing and spraying down under the hood on the engine and stuff. I'm not sure how clean I really got it. I even filled up this tire and then it's already like almost flat again, but uh, but yeah, so this is this is a project for sure. It's a handful. You got a picture. You got to have the vision, fam. I'm telling you, this thing is gonna be nice. Just have the vision, because this is gonna be my daily driver while she drives. While she drives that, I promise you, when it's done, you'll be impressed and you'll be like, wow, I can't believe it. I'm a believer. That's crazy. How excited are you about your new mom car? Because I haven't really talked to you much about it other than like on our way to pick it up. You know? I don't think it's hit me. Kind of hit you. Yeah. No, I don't think a lot of things have hit me. I don't think it's even hit me that I'm gonna be a mom. 
It's crazy. Even though I get kicked all the time. Not by me, I promise. I'm not kicking her. Yeah, but. She's saying baby's kicking her. <laughs> it'll, yeah, it'll get real once I drive it more, but it's like the most luxurious mom car you could have, so. <laughs> crazy. She wouldn't expect mm. this. No. When I said, mm -hmm. hey, let's get you a mom car, she wouldn't, she wouldn't expect them to kind of like. Baby's got it right in style, right? Right. Right, right, so <laughs> she's gonna enjoy this. That's it for the video. That is it. That's it for today's episode. 10 days straight now, posting every single day. And we don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. Actually, take it back. We're gonna be going on a trip to the Dominican Republic here in a handful of weeks, so we are gonna take a little bit of a break because I can't post every single day twice to get videos up for an entire week. That would just be crazy. After that, I promise, every single day is gonna pick right back up. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, comment down below. And also, if you wanna win this truck plus $5,000 of cash to go with it, you're running out of time. You're down to the last 10 or 11 days to enter to win this truck. Every $5 you spend on our gear, whether it be hats, hoodies, t-shirts, keychains, lanyards, koozies, whatever, stickers, decals, every $5 will get you two automatic entries to win that truck. But the 2X entry deal ends March 13th, which I think is in six days. So if you wanna get in on that, get in now because this truck giveaway will be gone before you know it. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.